So welcome back. Uh, we're in uh, 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 on our way for a date night tonight, but date night with a difference. Date afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after a couple of hours sleep from work, <laughs> now time to go on date night. Um, we're doing a little bit different, as I said. Instead of the normal go to a restaurant or go to a bar or movie, we've decided we're going to go. I'm trying something for the first time actually for us as well. Yes, it is. Um, we're going for a barbecue. With a boat, I think, I don't know, little, keep going back to the Philippines, like having the Philippines with the, when they have the barbecues on the boat. Oh, but no, no, it's no, not no. going to be on the boat though, unlike Philippines. Um, we're going to one of our little sister islands, Camino. Yes. Oh, yes, uh, we're going to get the bus, uh, the boat, sorry. The bus? This is a small sorry. bus. The, the boat from Meliha, which is going to leave right about an hour. Uh, we're going to get the boat from there and then we're going to go around Koto, maybe some for the sunset. And then we will stop on Camino where we'll have some food and a barbecue. Um, and then we will make our way back towards around Suri. I am gone. <laughs> and we're back. We are back. Um, so, as I was saying, it is leaving from Aliha. We're on our way now. And then we'll head back right around midnight, maybe something like that. I'll be honest, I have no idea because my lovely wife organized, organized it all. I love it. I love organizing evenings like this because we do work a lot even when we are home so we really need to get away. Sometimes I, I just feel it's important to just make time and get away and just have a nice evening. But today we decided to take you with us. So I hope we enjoy it. You enjoy it as much as we're going to enjoy it because I love being near the sea and food obviously. Um, <laughs> we are heading to Meliha with uh, Bonju. Uh, which is a taxi service in Malta. It's a new one, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. It's still new. It's very comfortable. It's very, very good priced. So I encourage all the Maltese um, people to use it, uh, especially when they are going places where they're going to have a couple of drinks. You can enjoy yourself and then get a bonjo back to home. And it's not very expensive. We're going to leave for the those who live in Malta or will be coming uh, on a holiday to Malta. Mm -hmm. We will leave the link below. It costs so, how much it costs. Yeah. So. Um, for, how and the distance, and the distance. How, well, how much distance is there from where we are to... I'll have to check, but we'll, well, we'll, quite we'll, a long we'll, way. we'll um, link it or put it Maybe here or here. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we will, and we will also give you the price just up here. So you will know the whereabouts. No pressure that I've got now, make sure it goes there. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I will write it here, so you don't have to. <laughs> No, but we need to uh, we need to give you uh, as much information as you as we can. So if you decide to visit our country, you will just need to do the app of Bonju, then you can go wherever you like and don't get stuck in traffic. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're going to be doing tonight um, ten good reasons or ten advantages of living in Malta. I mean. We are, yes. Yeah. So, first one is... You don't... A lot of Maltese are going to jump on me right now, <laughs> but this is very true. You don't really need to own a car in Malta. Nope. Everywhere is 20 minutes away, at least for well, us... Well, almost 20 minutes. Our, our journey is a bit more than 20 minutes at away, least, but... At least for us, that we live quite central on this island, Everything is really, really reachable, and you do, with the amount of cars that we already have in Malta, I can guarantee you, and I can guarantee you that you will spend more time looking for a parking mm -hmm. than going to your destination. So you don't really need to walk. That's why things like Bonju come in really handy. Yes, exactly, exactly, because they just get you there and you don't need to look for a parking and you don't need to worry about getting a ticket because you leave the car over, um, how do you say, 
double pumped <laughs> or mm. you block somebody's garage but to be <laughs> honest there is so so many cars in this tiny island that unfortunately unfortunately yeah. yes there's way too many cars there's like four for each family that you really don't need to use a car i mean i, I feel i've never missed have you ever nope missed? Never. Again, when we, when we go abroad, yes, we do get a, a bike because we are very limited on time. But yeah, if you organize your time correctly and and just you know organize it properly, you really don't need a bike. And for for those people who are saying that when you need to go shopping, you know, because get you do like me, and you do the shopping online, and they get it behind your door. <laughs> So no, I don't really need to own a car shopping life. online is a money saver. It is. <laughs> so no, that is the first number plus living in Malta is don't really need to own a car. Really. Yeah. But we'll go through the night and we'll add a lot. <laughs> so, we'll see you at the port, I presume? At the boat. Boat, yes. boaty, porty thing. And we'll give you also information about the boat and, 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 and the prices. prices and everything involved. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Last night we had something Tonight I'll be guessing But I don't really have a case You don't have to make you're just like their attention It's written on So we are like uh, halfway through our trip to Camino Island and Pretty really, much here now Yes, yes, we're just about um, here and we just down that the boat is like not really busy Actually we are going to dock now We are going down on Camino and we're not actually, we're gonna skip going to go to aren't we? Yeah, because you're only going to pick up some food and stuff, but oh, I want to get yeah. some drone footage and stuff. So. Exactly, so we're going to take uh, make most of our time, take some drone footage and take some pictures before food gets served. Uh, we're going to leave all the information we are um, on the English rose, it's called um, the trip uh, and the trip, and the, with the food included, will cost us how much does it cost us? 20 each. 20 no, euros. Yeah, 20 yes, each. Yes, 20 euros each. each. That in, uh, includes also wine. There is also free flowing wine, as much as you can eat. It uh, also has uh, <laughs> very solid drinks, and you can also have ice cream and extra bits and pieces. Show you the menu. Very good. Um, the, the boat is exactly really comfortable because it's not very full, it's not overcrowded, no. uh, so it's not like really. It's nice. So far, so good. We are yeah. going to go down on Camino now, and right. we're going to we're see you later. Few minutes. Here we go. A little bit longer, we're going to be in Blue Lagoon, like I said. We're going to move the boat for a few minutes. Me, myself, after that, I'm going to go to pick the food. Obviously, Please I return go, back. Pick the food. Uh, for those who are hungry, we're going to start preparing food around, start eating around between 8 and 8.15. Let's say 8.15. So, in theory, you have like two hours if you like to have a swim <laughs> or anything like that. For those who want to join me to go to, feel free. Nope. If anybody would like to join That's me to go to. Like I said, you're going to have a three-course meal. There's nine types of, sta uh, of, of salads. There's a starter, sausages and some of the salads. Had me at sausages. Thank you for the steaks and more salads. There's going to be the ice cream. Had me at steaks. There's going to be red and white <laughs> wine and water about half an hour before and we wine. start serving food. Till we leave the lagoon, a bit of music. The boat is about blue but no copyright strikes, please. <laughs> so by 10 o'clock, I'm not asking you to be on the boat. But please be by the boat, or be on the boat by 10 o'clock. Okay, anyway, we, have, we have a lot of time. We have a lot of time, to be honest, yes. When our turn comes, uh, for a few minutes, for those who's going down, prepare themselves, obviously. This is a brilliant time to stop here, yeah. because all the boats just left. So all the tourists a, leave at this time. So, so Camino is practically for us now, Sorry. so we get to we, we get to enjoy it. Um, for those who haven't seen our video on Camino and we'll the older it. hotel, we'll link you it. You stop! Wait, 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 stop! He will link it here. <laughs> up, up in one of the corners. <laughs> and so um, we would do recommend this this uh, trip if you are in Malta. Yeah. 
Um, so we're going to go and... Not just for the Maltese, but foreigners alike. The good thing is also that if you would like, there is a bar on on board. Yeah. But so you can feel free to bring your own drinks with you. Um, you can bring and you don't own. get that very often. No, 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 no. Um, so we're going to go for a swim now. And we are going to definitely leave the details of the boat down here. For those of you who would like to book. Where? Down here. I'll make this easy <laughs> for you now. I'll, I'll leave it down, down here we'll somewhere. Leave okay. He will leave it down here. <laughs> We're gonna see you later. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. I'm not gonna say about the bell. I'm not gonna say about. But you have to see this water. How clear and blue it is. Yeah. It's very clear. And no people. Well, th there is at the moment, but there's soon. We're just going. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Okay, so we are now on Camino. We just sit and have a drink. Enjoy the view because it's really amazing from here. Um, right in front people, of the sunset. Yeah, people are leaving at the moment. Um, so, number two, good reasons of living on the Maltese Island, and that is that we have sister islands here. Um, and gold so also. So if you live in Malta like we do, and you feel like a quiet getaway, short, a little no bit, short break, <laughs> a little bit of a break from the hustle and bustle of Malta, you can just get a ferry and go and spend a weekend in Gozo or over here in the Seoul Hotel that is over here. Yeah. And Definitely, you will get an amazing weekend because even though we are very close and we live the, practically the same lives as Malta and Goza, we do speak the same language and everything is the same. But it is a it is a quiet break. Not sponsored. <laughs> it is a quiet break. I would suggest that if one wants to come and have a break here in Camino that they would book really really like really early yeah because, you have as to we book said quite before, in advance it's quite a uh, there popular is, there is only one hotel and which is uh, in the summer season and the high season which is this time it is always fully booked mm -hmm. um, but it has its benefits uh, because during the day here you get all this area full of hang on, And that is not even busy. That's not busy. If you see it during the day, there wouldn't Sardines. be any space for a for anything. Not for a. a, a What's the expression? To no, no room to swing a cat. Is the English no expression? No room to swing a cat. That's the English expression. I don't know what the Maltese version is, but <laughs> no room to swing a cat. If any Maltese are seeing this, and you know the expression of. Don't swing a cat, by the way. That's <laughs> not swing a cat. Also, uh, so that was number two. That's number two. Good reason. Yeah. But I just have to say this. I'm sorry. We are really, really amazingly thankful and grateful that many tourists come here. But this is something I do not like. Hang on. Uh. Hang on. I'm taking it. This is the pineapple here and cigarettes here when there is just a bin over there. Pick your <laughs> up and take it with you, or put it in the bins. Provide. Yes, exactly. It's just over there. It's not difficult. But don't worry, whoever left it there, we will throw it away. Yeah. So it's okay. But do leave clean, please. There are a lot of people camping here. There are no people living here, so we must respect the, uh, the, the environment. Doesn't matter who's here yeah. or who's not. At the end of the day, wherever like you are, if you make a mess, you take it away. You to enjoy the view, to enjoy, it. and this could cause a lot of mosquitoes and stuff. So please, please, please be aware of your bin and just bring a plastic bag and throw it away from. You. Or so take it with you if you can't. There's no bin. Just take it with you. That's it. End of subject. It's not difficult. We'll see you later. <laughs> see you in a bit. You don't have to mention You just like their attention It's written all over your face I don't wanna play the quiet time When I'm near you Reading old messages on my phone Every time I see
Voilà. So, all changed. Gonna go for a swim. Although, guys, when you come to this island, please don't make too much of a mess when you're inside the toilet. Stop. Okay, so time for number three. Uh, why it's good to live on this island. Number three would be um, food actually. <laughs> we are so central in the Mediterranean that we just get lots of different food from every country. We get the best of Maltese food obviously. Ha! Ah, pastizzi! You <laughs> must try the pastizzi. My biggest weakness, <laughs> bloody pastizzi. Pastizzi is something that you find only in Malta. It is baked, you find them in every corner of the island. It is something that is baked with puff pastry. You can buy them with uh, uh, cheese inside or you can buy them with peas inside. Uh, peas, uh, uh, ricotta. Making, so, some are making also... And burger pies. <laughs> those, those are my worst. Uh, that's my biggest weakness over but here. The pastizzi are very, very, very traditional. They're flaky, they're hot, they're nice. Mm. Perfect, you must try them. Yeah. But apart from what is food, being we are very central in, in Europe, we get a lot of Italian food, mm -hmm. Turkish food, so you do get a little bit best of everything. So, yeah, food is another thing <laughs> that is really <laughs> nice here. Sasa, number three. So, number four, three. number four coming up. <laughs> oh. It is cold. They say yeah. this pool to here is the coldest, it's always cold, and the coldest <laughs> in the Mediterranean. But it's, this is the best time to swim in it because you have to be able to swim it. But as one man to fellow men that are watching, <laughs> you are seeing soprano really quickly. That's all I'm gonna say because we have to keep yeah. it kid friendly. I'm gonna move. Look, I'm gonna move. Uh, uh, there you go. A little bit like a little boom boom. Take your crap home with you. <laughs> Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. You're all wet then, you're all wet. Hold that. Don't waste my scarf. Yep. There you go. Mind you, the water is so nice at this time. It's not bad now, I'm in it. No, it's not bad. It's really nice. And the water is so clear and nice and it's empty. There is no people whatsoever. So it's really, really nice. And coming to that. Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. Wait. I can't I can't read. Okay. Okay. And number four. Weather. My favorite. I love summer. We have such a short winter. For me, it's still cold, even though people don't say. It's a little cold in Malta, but for me it does get cold because we do have stone houses and we don't have wooden houses here, so the We're houses... We're made of line of lime stone. Oh no, 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 all right, I can't right. say that. Can't say that. Um, but when it's cold, it gets cold and the houses take really long to get warm, so this There's short winter sto for me... stone over here holds the moisture, that's the problem. Exactly, so we have longer summer then winter while three still, months of winter uh, really. in december we'll still be wearing like sleep yeah. like we're not wearing coats or anything so number five we have what's known as festa over here where each individual town in malta has um, a week-long celebration ending on a sunday starting on a monday it's a religious thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it is a religious thing. It but started as a religious thing. Yeah, but now it's not so much every religious. Town, um, every town celebrates their patron on the weekend. Yeah, like ours, where we live, <laughs> is San Gitano. As for people. Yeah. Um, and it started as a, like, before in the old ages, it started, like, with a mass, and then people go and take her out and make a procession. With the... This year, we're going to show you an hour festival. Yeah. Really oh, this is about. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because we get the band, we it is like what spread on whole week, especially on the weekend, Friday, people come out with the kids and the, and the families. We go around with the procession, lots of drinking, <laughs> fun, a lot of fun, By a lot of drinking she means like a lot of a drinking. A lot of staying up until five o'clock. Yeah. We will take you to our festa, but apart from the festa being such for such a, such a small island that we are, 
there is always stuff to do here. Yeah. Always, always, always. There's there always is something like, going on. Especially in summer. There's beer festivals, there's the Isle of Man, uh, MTV, which brings in a lot of tourists. A lot um, of famous artists perform. Exactly. There is also one night that happens in October, which is just amazing. And it's called the Notte Bianca, which um, happens in Valletta, obviously, and so in the capital city of Malta. Mm. And it stays up all night. And all there's the also shirts. the Birgo Fest. And also Bir there's Birgo, the Birgo, Birgo I, Fest. I, I, sorry, I didn't say it right. Sorry, apologize to Maltese. Birgo Fest, <laughs> yes, which is also an amazing night because all the lights in the town are turned off and all the narrow streets are lighted only by candles. Candle we're going to try. I'm not sure whether we're going to be here in October yeah, or not. I'm not sure, but, but we'll try. But if we're going to be in Malta, we're going to take you because it's just like amazing. It's like you've gone into another area, area ah. completely. And plus we get the beer festival, we got the jazz festival and all these festivals are completely free. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing. That's about the mind blowing thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, in fact, a lot of people uh, fly in from Italy and from England and just to come All over the world, yeah. to be fair. To come for uh, the I Love MTV, which is happening, I think, this month. I'm not sure, I'm not very up to date with that one because it's not our kind of thing. Yeah, this month. This month? Yeah. So, there's always, always, uh, being for such a small island, there's always something going on. Yeah. And even if you don't have anything to do, you just can buy some beer and just go on a beach and just relax <laughs> and have a drink and buy some food and just... It's free as well. <laughs> to enjoy the beach. Now I'm going to get cold. I'm going to get go up because I'm going to get... <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. Last night we had something Tonight I'll be guessing But I don't really have a case You don't have to mention You just like their attention It's written on That's dinner done, dusted Buffet style Buffet style Sorry, we couldn't video the food Because we were videoing She's whispering, I don't know why Daddy, can you hear me better like this? <laughs> I'm sorry, we couldn't video the food because we were we were so we lots of people and we haven't okay. we don't However, want to intrude too much. We actually got carried away filming the sunset, which we all got to see, which is beautiful. And the tables were like full of people because the the dinner here was a buffet. We had a starter. And which was like uh, five different types of salads. I didn't care, there was sausage. And sausage, and then we had sausage. the main course. That's it, end of subject. <laughs> Again, we were the last people to take food, so it was like not very nice to film because all of the food was missing. But um, there were again a lot of different types of salad with potatoes and uh, vegetable salad and beans and beef. There was no beef. fish, I'm afraid, or sorry for the vegetarians. There was only beef served on today's dinner. Um, so I guess for those who are vegetarian. No, but you can eat just a salad. Just a salad. And yes, the beans and the potato but, salad. But I'm not sure. You can, if, if you are a vegetarian and you'd like to do this tour, um, you can message them below where we left here and you can ask them whether they can cater for vegetarian people. I'm sure that they will arrange something for you. There was wine served. So now I did bring my own cup. Wait, 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 wait. Not sponsored. I did bring my own cup so I won't use um, the ones that are one time use. This I can take at home, wash it and use it. Mm -hmm. Um, so, where were we? We were at... I think we're on number six. Number six. You go with number six. I don't know what number six is. I go with number six then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> number six is... Yeah. Sea and... Sea? Sea? Sea, sea and diving. Mm. Sea. I can remember these things. I remember. So, here in Malta, uh, we have some of the best seas and clearest seas in the world. Uh, well, not in the world. Mediterranean, no, in the world. Nah, no, I'll say it. Malta has some of the best seas in the world, uh, for clarity-wise. Um, and we have some of the toppest dive spots also in the Mediterranean. 
Um, hopefully, one day I get to take you on a dive with us. Well, sorry, with me, not with her, but with me. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll take you down to a shipwreck. Um, we got quite a few little shipwrecks. Mosquito. Ah. We do have a lot of caves also under the sea, mm -hmm. which they say is nice. I don't know. I can't. I can't judge because obviously I'm not a diver and I don't think I will ever be. But as far as from the views here, the seas are very nice and there yeah. is a lot of beautiful dive sites and a lot of people traveling here just for diving because mm -hmm. it's a thing you like to do. We have a lot of people traveling here to come exactly. see it. And it's well worth it. Um, but as for seas, we also have very nice sandy beaches, we have rocky beaches and just like... We have piers like we're currently everywhere. sat on now. Yeah. Lots of fishies! Oh. There we go. I was feeding the fishes earlier. Yeah. And so that was number six. So if you like the sea and diving, this could be a hot spot for you. Really. Yes. Sea, sun. What more could you want? <laughs> no, my. Oh. I think somebody broke something. Not us, but somebody else. People are still eating. Yeah? Oh, cool. And we have another course to go, like dessert. Um, so, shall we go to number seven? Yeah, you're turn for seven. Cause, yeah. Number seven, again, is one of my favorites. I, I lived all my life here, and I never get tired of it. Um, Num so, third course seems to be a box of wine. A box of wine? <laughs> I stick to the glass. Plastic pink glass. Anyway, number seven is history. History, you can never get enough of history here. Here we have a lot of museums, we have also the oldest temple in Europe. No, no, we have the we oldest freestanding temple. Free standing it's temple. Old, for, a, for, for, for my English followers, it's older than uh, Stonehenge. We do have a lot of um, beautiful history. Mm -hmm. We have forts like Indina, which is one of a kind. With high walls and and all the history that it has in it is not sponsored <laughs> and um, there is like Valletta is full of history there is the uh, war museum mm -hmm. there is what else is there? in fact she just mentioned Emdina Emdina used to be the capital of Malta until it they moved to it to Valletta yes there is the catacombs there we have St Paul's catacomb we have um, what else I think have? I have some. Ah. I think I have some footage of the uh, underneath. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. We do. We also have a lot of deep underground shelters, which they used to use for wars, which they are just still uncovering um, some of them, which, which are quite a bit dangerous to go in now. But they are sorting them out. Okay. They say they're dangerous. I don't yeah. think they are. Yeah, we also have a lot of uh, museums. Again, sorry. Um, Bombs, but there's a very interesting place in Mosta, which is the, the Mosta Dome. But again, one of uh, the biggest in Europe is the Mosta Dome. And it's the second biggest in the world, actually. The, the, is it? the biggest is in, in Italy. And there's a really cool story there because, mm. like, in the war, there were people praying on Sunday and uh, a bomb dropped and it went through the ceiling, but it didn't explode. Nope. Is still there, same still but it has there. been diffused, just to be clear. Oh, we didn't have to ruin it. I'm not going to get people going in there and start stupid, stupid things. It makes it more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, that that's number, number seven. seven. Yes. We'll come back to you with number eight. Now? Now? I don't know. Now? Huh? How about now? No. I go now? No. Let me go now. Go on. I want to go. Now. Go on. Okay. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stop because I'm opening up. Number eight is obviously the amazing people like Charlie over here. Yeah. He's. <laughs> people I, are I can't kind. see him on here, but. People are kind, people are nice, uh, uh, unless they're driving. Yeah, driving, they're not so nice, but. <laughs> every country um, the same. But people are nice here, you, I will guarantee that if you speak English or not, you will not have, you will not have a, a problem with language here because 
all of the Maltese speak English, even in Gozo, and if you in Camino as well. So you are guaranteed to find help in whatever you need. And if you want to, like people are always so friendly and invite people in and for drinks, if I guarantee you, you go for a drink on Sunday morning in one of the cuisines. In the center of the town, each town in Malta have their own cuisines, you will have a blast mm -hmm. and I will guarantee you will make new friends. So, number eight is the amazing people of Malta, yeah. plus Chen. And Chen. <laughs> number nine and number ten will come to you soon. See you in a bit, guys. Over your face. I don't want to play the quiet time when I'm near you. Reading old messages on my phone every time I see you. Tell me, is this part of it? So, back on the boat. Uh, hang on. Uh, there you go. a weekend or, or even longer you have like England three hours away you have Italy just not even an hour oh you can even go by ferry yes you can go by ferry catamaran um, Cyprus they're all so so very close sorry <laughs> and it's pretty cheap to actually get there and pretty much the same cost of living as if we were at home so not much in the way of difference. Exactly. Yeah. So that's number nine. Number ten is coming up. <laughs> Hi guys. So finally back from our little trip in Comino. I am ready for a shower and bed. Tired <laughs> as heck. But. But we forgot to do number ten. Well, no, we didn't forget. We left it for home. But wait until we got home. So, number ten. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, but hang on. Oh, I've gone from cans to bottles. Chisk. <gasps> and our traditional drink. Not sponsored. Kinney. Not sponsored. Kinney. Kinney. This is a, a very particular drink. It's uh -huh. it's found, dancy. Found in only Malta. It's orangey, and it's quite. And it's Kinney's one of those ones that you either really like or you don't. I, I love it, and me. but I, I gave it to some of my family and they didn't like it. It's, kind of, it's one of those things that you can't exactly... Like Marmite. You either like it or you don't. That's it. It's hard to explain yeah. the taste, but it's one of the musts that you, when you come in Malta, you should always try, try it. it. And also with the chisk, they've got so many different flavours. They have lemon, they have the normal, they have berry. They, they have now the XL for people like me that are a little bit on the plumper side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> less carbs. Um, I think they have a couple more as well. Uh, and they're celebrating currently this year 90 years, which is quite of impressive. Brewing a beer. Um, brewing beer. I wish we could make beer. one. We I wish we could make one of those, like go, go to the factory and just show how they all do it. There's an idea. Mm. So, any, any, anybody that. watching or any of our friends that have connections with uh, Farsons? But we can guarantee that Chisk is one of the best. Yeah, now, beer, beer is something that we like, and every, every time we go into a different country, the first thing we want to try, try is the local, local beer. beer. But Chisk is not one sponsored. of our favorite. <laughs> but it is not sponsored. <laughs> Like in Bali, when we were in Bali, Bintang. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, yeah, that was good. Bintang was, was good. absolutely amazing. Was Philippines, there was either the Red Horse, which I loved, but my head didn't. My head <laughs> didn't love it in the morning. Uh, 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 yes, and there was that, the, even the in India, there was one that was India, really, really strong. India, which was the Kingfisher. Uh, 
Oh, but Kingfisher, and that was, oh my God, that was strong. For me, it was like, it was like really, really right. strong. And then we were, and then we were, we had that one that we also loved in Cyprus, the FS. Uh, oh yeah, that oh was really that nice was beer. beautiful. But our favorite is but for sure the coming chisk. home, having chisk. Oh, phenomenal, eh? Phenomenal. So that's it, I think. We're ready for bed, shower in bed yeah. because we've got all the sea water on us still. You so we're gonna go and have a shower, and we're gonna stop this vlog here. Again, we would like to thank the new subscribers. Thank you for all your messages. Thank you for all the encouragement that you are making us. Thank you very much. Yeah. We truly, truly appreciate. Hope you stay with us for another uh, video coming up next week. Yeah. Don't forget the bell. It's so cute, bell. And the red button to subscribe and yeah. the bell to be notified with our next adventure. Take See care, guys. guys. Bye.